Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's currently Monday and in today's video I'm going to show you what I have sold on eBay over the last weekend. Hopefully today this vi well actually hopefully this video goes out on Monday this week. Last week it ended up going out on like Wednesday so yeah hopefully when you see this video it is Monday. Um, so these are my weekend sales. Uh, as you'll notice I'm in the photography room or the intake room today rather than the stock room. Let me tell you it is so hot over there. I've pre-pulled all of my orders. They're here on the desk and it's going to be easier for me to do that and it's not so hot. So hopefully I won't be sweating so much by the end. But yes, today we have 21 orders from over the weekend to show you guys. Some of these are really good. Some of them are obviously cheaper stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go through them in today's video with you and show you exactly what has sold. But yeah, first item that we have sold um, is this. This is a Nintendo DS Lite console. Uh, it has nine games in here. It has, what else does it have? The charger is in here. Comes with everything that is needed. Uh, yeah, so nine games. The console is in like pretty much mint condition. It's really good. I paid, um, f I think it was fifty pounds or thirty pounds for a bundle uh, of gaming stuff. There was like twelve Xbox One, con uh, Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty controllers or something. Nine or twelve. There was two Xbox One controllers. This was in there, um, and yeah, this has pretty much paid for the whole lot. Even though a lot of the other stuff was already sold. Uh, I took an offer of £48.45 for this, uh, it's really a nice sale that, um, yeah so someone bought this for their grandson, it was their birthday, uh, so yeah that will be going off today which is fantastic, so that is the first item going out. Next up we have another large item so bear with me one second as I grab this. So. Uh, what I'm about to show you does include these two games, so just bear that in mind. It's just easier to hold that up when uh, these are not in my hand. So yeah, Halo and what is that? Kane of Lynch, Kane and Lynch. Uh, so yeah, so this is a, hopefully I don't drop it. This is a limited edition uh, Xbox 360 console with the Halo, I think Halo 3, is it Halo 3? Halo something, I think Halo, I, I don't remember. Yeah, so this is a Halo 3 limited edition console. I don't know how well you can see it. I had this listed for 75 with the games, a controller, the the cables and the network adapter. But they messaged me saying, oh, I only need the console. Um, can you do that for 45? And I worked out in my head, like if I split this up, like if I can sell the power cable, if I can sell the controller, if I can sell the network adapter, plus the 45 will i get my 75 and yes it actually works out about 90 pounds so i'm going to be actually making a little bit more since doing this deal so yeah this is going to be going off today along with these two games uh, and that went for 45 plus five pound postage so happy with that so and i need to put this down before i drop it okay next up on the consoles we have sold a uh, Wii, Nintendo Wii console. I'm going to put the photo here so I don't have to grab all of the stuff. Uh, but yesterday I had someone deliver uh, a Wii bundle. It came with the console, came with two controllers, nunchuck cables, came with a massive Disney uh, Infinities collection um, and like a play and charge kit kind of thing. And I paid £20 for it and I've sold just the console the cables and one set of controllers for 25. Uh, I took an offer, I had out for 30. I wanted my money back basically, so I accepted the 25 plus the postage. So we're in profit already, just about. Um, and then all of the other stuff will be pure profit. And there was like 10 games with it as well, like Just Dance 1 and 2. Uh, there was some, some other really good stuff in there. So yeah, 25 pounds on this. A day after I picked it up, really happy with that sale. And this console is in full working condition, really nice condition console. So good to see that one go, really nice. Next up we have a video game, which is over here. So bear with me. Uh, we have, my God, it's hot. I don't even care to think how hot it is right now. This is Deus Ex Human Revolution. Um, yeah, it's all in there, it's in nice condition. This got three pound and five pound postage. So this one is going off to somewhere within the EU. Aha, 
The spare controller for that console that I told you about a second ago has sold. I got £10 for this. Um, I believe with like a nunchuck at the moment, they're going for around 15, maybe 18 pounds. During lockdown, they were going for crazy money, like 25, 30 with the nunchuck. I didn't have a spare nunchuck, so I whacked it up for 10 pound. I wanted a quick uh, sale and that is exactly what happened. I believe it sold after like an hour or something. So that was nice. Um, next up we have Viva Pinata and Forza 2 Motorsport. Uh, it's this like dual combo edition, so Forza's on that side, and then I believe, oh no, they're both in there. I thought it was like a double sided case, and there's a Viva Piñata, lovely jubbly. Uh, this didn't bring too much money, £5 uh, plus £2 postage, really lovely condition actually, it's pretty much mint condition, like I could have picked this up off the shelf today brand new uh it's that good condition uh, which is great um ah next up we have this this is a winnie the pooh classic fine arts piggy bank money box and this is official disney you can see on the bottom uh, classic poo fine arts from disney uh this is a money box the only issue with it is like the seal on the bottom that holds the cash in uh, it's kind of like warped i don't know whether that's from the heat or someone put it in wrong at one point uh but yeah we actually managed to get 15 pounds for this so whenever i see stuff like this this is the kind of stuff that i like to pick up and just like have a shot on it like i never really know for sure when i pick this up whether this is going to go um but yeah, it's like instinct kind of thing. You know, you see it and you're like, oh, that's like a pound. I might pick that up and it might sell. If not, it's only a pound. Uh, but yeah, so that has gone for 15. We have sold two of these. Uh, these are Eeyore from the Disney store. Uh, brand new with the tags to two different people. Um, and I got three pound each on either of these. So six pounds right there, which is quite nice aha next up pick this up in last week's sunday car boot you would have seen that i think i paid three pound for like a massive bundle of game dvds and a walking stick i think um but yeah um originally this was 14.99 as you can see i paid probably like 50p for it and it sold for 19.99 um and free postage i put this on free postage because i wanted it to sell quickly uh so this is um not going to cost too much obviously if you ship media you know how much this is going to cost next up we have by the sounds of it the dustbin bin outside correct so for the next few minutes you're going to hear them lifting my dustbins into the back of the truck but yeah, next up we have this Scrabble board game picked up for a pound. It sold pretty much instantly for eight pounds plus three pound fifty postage. Uh, so that's a nice little sale right there. Aha, uh -huh, next up we have a World of Warcraft game. This is actually going off to Norway, I believe. Uh, so they did pay up on the postage on this one. Um, so that is fine. Uh, £3.61 they pay for this plus the postage on top, which is nice. Uh, oh, where is that one? Next one up. If you grew up in the 90s or the early 2000s, I suppose you probably know Mr. Barney. I don't know how long he was around for, actually. Was he around in the 80s as well? Maybe. Late 80s? I don't know. I remember Barney's Playhouse, I believe, or something like that. It was always a bit creepy, but there we go. So anyway, this is a Barney plush teddy bear from 1993. I believe the year I was born, actually. Let me double check. Yeah, 1993. It's in actually really good condition, like pretty much mint condition. Uh, and we managed to sell this one for 17. I had this up for 20. Uh, we got 17 plus postage. So if you ever see a Barney and it has Barney on his foot and you look at the tags and it says the Barney, um, Barney by the Lions Group, Golden Bear Company. There you go. So that is one that you want to look out for. If you see that in the shops, make sure you pick it up. Ah, last Saturday, I believe, we picked up some brand new media in the form of these cassettes. There was these three and then there were some other ones, the blue ones. 
Uh, I got four pound for these three and I paid a pound for the entire lot uh, and obviously postage on top as well. So that will go side by side as a large letter like so or like so. Uh, and yeah, good little sell. If you can pick these up, people will still want these today. Um, I'm not sure whether they actually make them anymore or not. Uh, okay, next up we have this. I picked this up at a car boot sale last week, I believe. Paid two pounds. And this is called Love Hina or Love Hina. It's the complete series plus the Christmas and spring collection. This is uh, this is a anime um, DVD collection. And I got £14 plus postage on this one. This one's actually going off to some foreign country. I'm not sure exactly where. Global Shipping Program, they pay for this one. This is the Brown Bag Cookie Art uh, from 1992 Hill Design. And this is a cookie uh, mold. So it is a pig eating um, watermelon, as you can see. It has been used, it is second hand, it is pre owned. Uh, but yeah, this was listed for £10 and I took an offer of £9.50. And yeah, that was only listed on the Friday, it sold on Saturday morning, which is really good. So if you ever see stoneware like this, like you'll know it's kind of like, it's not like clay, it's like, I don't know. You'll know it when you see it, but if you see it, pick it up because it does really well. And I've got hiccups. Uh, yeah, 9.50 on that plus £3 postage. So that will be put in a box because obviously if that gets dropped, it is going to shatter, which would suck real bad. Um, so we don't want that to happen. So that will be padded and boxed and whatever. So yeah, next up we have this, which is the Mobigo Brave uh, Disney game for the VTech Mobigo systems. Uh, 365 on that plus £1.50 postage. Nice little sell. I picked up a huge bundle of those last year at the car boot sale for £5 and they've just been slowly selling off ever since. This is a juice block. This is a wireless Bluetooth speaker. I actually got this for free if you remember in my charity pickup video from about a week or two ago. Uh, well I said he threw in a couple of these speakers. This one has actually sold uh, for £18 plus £3 postage. So yeah when you see these wireless uh, Bluetooth speakers um, yeah they're always worth picking up um, even if like they're a brand that you've never heard of if they feel good quality like this one's obviously metal with like a rubber on the outside feels really good high quality uh, and yeah 18 pounds so you can't go wrong with that obviously it's fully working and everything as well next up we have this which is that always scares me when i do that um, this is a vintage monopoly board game as you can see it's actually in really good condition for its age i think it's 1970s so this is 50 years old guys um the back is like really good this is always normally like stained or ripped or teared or something like that the inside's in fantastic condition um had it up and it sold pretty much instantly i put it up for 15 because i wanted it to move pretty quickly um, I know around Christmas you can get 20, maybe 25 sometimes for those old ones. Uh, but I wanted it gone, uh, which I'm not actually doing more of right now, listing to like have a quicker turnover rather than trying to penny pinch and get like the extra 50p or pound. Uh, next up we have this, which is a two set of Costco bags. I mentioned in a video previously uh, that I was picking a load of these up from Costco. So if anyone needed them, if you don't have access to Costco, uh, that I would pick these up for you and uh, ship them off to you, obviously. Um, but yeah, I actually listed a few of these on eBay. So I had these up for five pounds plus three pound postage. Obviously the three pound comes because it's too long to go in like a large letter. It is thin enough to go as a large letter, I believe, but it's way too long. Um, so yeah, three pound postage. So eight pounds. So eight pounds total for these bags, um, which is quite a lot considering that normally they're like three pounds, I believe, in Costco. But for these bags, if you need them, you can't go wrong. To be honest, because they are just as strong as the IKEA bags. Um, they're a tiny little bit smaller, um, but they are much more comfy to carry. Um, and they have a card base as well, so it holds stuff in like a lot 
better and it doesn't hurt your hands as much when you carry them. So yeah, I sold one pack of these to somebody on eBay. Um, didn't really make too much money on it, to be honest. Maybe like a pound or two, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, those ones are going out. And I also sold another one to somebody in the Discord. So Tega in the Discord wanted some. Uh, of course, I didn't charge him to make profit on these because he's from the Discord. So I charged him for postage and cost. So five pounds to him. And this will be going off to him. So hopefully uh, these help you out, Tega, if you're watching the video. Um, but yeah, I am currently dying right now in this heat. So last but not least, we have this, which is a Ben 10 PlayStation 2 controller. And this went for £8. And it's going off to someone in the EU. So I think they paid high postage on that one. Um, yeah. Oh. And a little update on the Scrabble. She did send me back the correct one in the end, and she's paid for a label to have this one returned. So this one will be going back to her via her own label. And then, uh, yeah, I just have to refund her the money. So she said it was an accident. Uh, there's not much else I can do. Um, if you know what I'm talking about, if you don't, then don't worry. But there was a woman that sent back the wrong game, basically. That is it for today's video, guys. A little update there on the Scrabble. Um, it is way too hot in this room. I still have to pack everything. I still have to do all my labels. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed today's video, please do drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Join the Discord. Remember, the Amazon store link is down below. It has everything listed in there that I use for either for YouTube or for my eBay business. So supplies, my trolley, my printer, all that kind of stuff, my scales is all listed on there. If you click through those links, it will take you to those items. And when you purchase them, it doesn't cost you guys any more money, uh, but I do get a 5% cut, I believe thereabouts, 2 to 5%, something like that. And it helps me out. So yeah, thank you everybody for watching. And of course, I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully there will be a charity pickup video soon. Uh, it all depends on the foot. Uh, whether it's still painful or not, but I may be going tomorrow. So there may be a video tomorrow or Thursday. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.